What's up, guys, and welcome back to House Flipper. Today, we are continuing on with this warehouse build. And now, this is where the real work starts. This is a big space, dude. The good news is, is I, I mean, I really like just keeping the brick in here. I don't know if I want to, like, maybe an accent wall. And in fact, we need to, we need to grab the, the brick and put it on this, this wall back here. Typically, I'm all one for like, you know, having a wall or a couple of walls and brick, but I, I feel like with the brick and wood look we're, we're going with here, it just having everything in brick kind of makes sense. So we're going to keep this thing rolling. Also going to sell these lights. Uh, I was going to say sell them and then we're going to turn them to the, the black on black. But if we can't, then I guess we're going to have to sell these and we're going to have to make these black on white. I really like black on black switches. Might be a little partial because that's where mine are, but... um. It's, it's okay. I want it all to, to match. So it wants us to start with selling this fluorescent light. All right. Looks good to me. We're going to wall mount a TV. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So let's, let's start with this, I guess. Obviously, this is going to end up going right like so, right in that little cubby. We've got light colored chairs. We've got a sofa, coffee table. Here's our, our kitchen table, I'm assuming. Probably going to stick with this. Do we want to go with the burned beach? See, that looks really dark in the thing, but I, I think we want to go a little bit lighter. Let's go with the lighter brown tan color. Something like this. That might be too light. Ooh, what is this? American Elm? See, like, that's, that's not bad. I'm going to say let's put this in the corner. This is going to be our dining table. Is that too light? That might... Let me, let me buy another one. We've also got this. Hmm. Trying to have everything match as close as we can. We've got this. What do you guys think? I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. All right. Decision made. Had to buy a bunch of tables and hopefully not waste too much money. All right. So we're going to put this guy over in the corner. Let's get this thing centered up. Chairs. Hmm. This is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. We could add a little color. I don't know if we want to... That's where you can get yourself into trouble. Does the cream, the cream looks pretty good. I just feel like we have so much dark going on with the brick and the, the everything else. Like why, why not add a little, at least a little bit of color in here. A little bit of lightness. Put these here. Make sure we're all completely, totally lined up. Just like that. Can we tuck this thing in a little bit more? Beautiful. All right. Nice little table setting. Do we have any lights we can add in here? They don't. I, I'm I'm gonna add lights. You guys know I, I like I like nice lights. I'm thinking we want some more of these. These things are sick. So if we put one over in this corner facing the room like so, we could turn that on. I kind of feel like we we almost want these all over the place. One there like that maybe. Kind of weird, but. Might work. Moved him to the middle over here. All right, well, we'll start with that. At least we've got a little bit more light. Let me see what else we're working with. It's going to couch, table, mirror. All right, the couch is going to be a big piece. This is, this is tough. Do we want to be bold? I kind of want to do a violet couch. Would a violet couch look? Yeah, it would look pretty stupid. Okay, I, bad idea, Trev. We can get bold on the pillows, though. What color? Do we want like a green? I kind of feel like we need to go with a green. I'm going to go with green there. Hmm. I actually really feel like green doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> Something like that, maybe. I mean, it's a little boring, but it's it's just going to have to be what it, what it be. I'm going to get this guy kind of back in, in this area, maybe. Potentially, this is too big of a couch for the space. I feel like. well. I mean, not really, but I mean, you're not you're not gonna be able to make use of those. That's that's fine. All right, yeah, that that works. I, I just uh, I want it. I want to do something cool, and it's not. It doesn't look very cool. This is better. We're we're going dark brown with leaf pillows. We're, we're adding plants and stuff throughout. I, I think that's gonna make a bit more sense. I just I I would love to go with a fun colored couch. So maybe even something like a gray or something. It's just there's not really a lot of good options here. There's there's a dark gray. Does the dark gray look better? Ooh. I actually kind of like the dark gray. All right, we're going to go with that. Sorry, brown couch. You're out. Dark gray. You're in. 
We could even go with some light gray seats or even dark gray seats to match here. What I don't want to do is end up having, like, I, I feel like oftentimes I kind of, uh, you know, not regress, but I, I, I default to like the gray and black, white and black look. I want to have some color. I want to add in the browns and the reds of the brick and stuff, but I also like, I don't want it to get too washed out. And obviously, I mean, like with the stairs here and stuff, and all the accents in the windows, we do have a lot of the gray and black. So we've got to find a way to incorporate that while also not getting too heavy into it. And I feel like we're doing a good job. Nice little gray coffee table here. All right, we're bringing a little bit more gray into it. We've got, ooh, an electric fireplace. Let me see how we're looking here. I'm thinking black with the white, maybe? Be able to put this in the wall. Yes, sir. Oh, I love that. That looks... I, I literally just did that to my house, so it makes it be so happy that all these people in this game are asking for it. We've got a freestanding Fez column here. I'm going to say these probably keep black, gray accents, light back. Black back doesn't, doesn't matter. All right, so we've got that. Probably put these on each side. Can we tuck these guys in here? I'm gonna put them here and I guess we'll just put them up against the wall. Ooh, these are cool looking. I actually really like this. Do we have the, uh, hmm, Brazil nut? I don't know if I like that. Let's get something that matches our table. Yeah, this this is pretty nice. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be able to put these, I'm thinking just kinda pretty commonly throughout. How are we feeling about that. I feel like maybe a little bit too close together. We need, I think we need a bit more space between each one. So like I'm going to move this guy over here, get this guy a little bit closer to the middle, bring these guys over. Obviously don't have any sort of a measuring tape or anything. I'm trying to get stuff centered with like, you know, I'd love one centered with this column here, but then it, it looks weird otherwise. So yeah, we're, we're getting this. Overall, this looks pretty good. Do we want them over here? I mean, I feel like they might look pretty good. They're kind of interesting, a little bit different. How are we feeling about that? That's not bad. I mean, it's kind of a lot of lights. I don't know if we necessarily need that many, but it's, I mean, your boy, your boy likes things lit up. All right, so we've got that. Let me see what else we're, we're gonna be working with here. So we want some of these freestanding things. I really like this. Be able to put that guy there. I think we're probably going to end up moving him, but we're going to put one there. I want to put one here and then maybe one over here. I actually feel like it... I don't know if I want him completely covering the thing. I'm thinking I want him just on this this back wall area. What if we... What if we made like a little mini accent wall of these things? Kind of a weird vibe, but I, I guess I, I like it. I feel like it's kind of cool when you're walking in, you've just got this whole wall of, of plants. I, uh... I don't know. They wanted three of them, and I feel like you can't really balance three around the space. So we're just we're gonna leave them there for now. We'll we'll see what happens. We've also got these guys. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of a weird, a weird setup. I'm gonna put these like this, maybe. Where would you put them? A, a mirror right here. I guess that works. Kind of matching up with the top of the door frame, and then uh, we want two of these. So let's see what color we're going for. I'm thinking probably a gray or a dark gray, maybe a dark gray, black frame. I do like that they're going with lots of plants. I think that's important. I think it makes a lot of sense. Could honestly probably put one back there. That's kind of a cool spot for it. All right. I mean, I don't hate it. I feel like these guys are stupid, but I don't hate it. I also kind of feel like these are stupid. You know what? If I don't if I don't like it, I'm I'm getting rid of it. Sorry. Design overruled. It just it doesn't it didn't make any sense. What would make sense here is something like this, kind of with the the top of the windows. Like that that looks a lot nicer. All right. We'll take it. Maybe a smaller one or two up above it, like a small one up there. Uh, that uh, Let's get another one of the same type and put it up top. This guy up here lined up with those windows. Bam. Yeah, I don't know if I like both. Maybe we... I kind of like the other one more. Let me sell this one. Let's put one maybe kind of in the middle. I, we're we're going to work on that. I'm a 
assuming this over here is going to be the kitchen. Let's get rid of that. All right. Let me see our tasks. Wants to modify walls. We want to paint at least 12 walls white. Let me let me see what we're putting in here first and then we'll we'll figure that out. So we've got uh oh yeah. We're going kitchen here. Uh, looking like a, a dark kitchen. I, I kind of agree with that. I think that makes a lot of sense. Black gloss, black gloss, dark gray. I'm going to say black gloss across everything. That's weird that you would change it. Black gloss on all drawers. Tabletop, we could go white. Brown, pure white, granite. Mm, shiny gray. I don't mind the light. I feel like the gray marble looks the best, though. And then we're going to go with uh, light details, light handles, dark handles. Yeah. I feel like this... I guess the gray marble has a bit of brown in it, and that kind of ties in everything else we're, we're working with. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this guy down here, and we're going to make everything match to it. So I'm going to put our... Uh... Oh, they wanted a... A gold inside? That's... Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna put our lights up in the middle of the kitchen to start off here, just so we can have a little bit of light as we work with this. And these are all of the pieces that we're gonna have to put together. We've got a couple of long ones, one with a sink, one with the stove. So I'm thinking probably sink along this wall, stove over there. So let's move this over yonder. We're gonna put this somewhere along the wall here obviously we're gonna have some of these cabinets as well hmm this guy's probably gonna come in this corner like this if we move this up against here it's kind of like adult legos trying to figure out where all of these things go we could put this shoot doesn't exactly line up we've got this little guy here We've got our fridge, which I'm tempted to put over here. Just like that. It kind of covers up our light switch, but that's okay. I think we're going to have to put that there. We're going to have to... Ugh. There's not really a good answer here. and I guess maybe we're putting the sink on the opposite side. Is this piece longer? That piece might be longer. I can't imagine they would have something that, that didn't fit. That would absolutely drive me nuts. So if we put this here, is this a little bit longer? It is not longer. There's going to be a hole no matter what we do. Are you kidding me? Look at this back here. There's that much space. I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to get around that either. Unless, unless if we move this over here. Oh no, yeah, that's. I don't think it's going to work. If we put the fridge over here and kind of centered it. Can't even really center it. Hmm. Or if we, if we put the fridge up against it, can we fit this in here? Ah, okay. That looks a little bit better. But then we've got this guy. To be honest, I'm thinking we're just going to have to leave him out. I'm, I'm, I'm not putting a random thing in here. It's, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this over here for now. I'm thinking maybe we have this guy over here. Let's get this lined up right like so. Get it all the way up against the thing. Bam, just like that. All right, and then I'm thinking maybe this guy over yonder. Okay, not too shabby. What if instead of white walls, we went with this white brick all throughout the kitchen? Could be... Could be kind of interesting. Let me place these down and pick these up. What do we, what do we feel about this? Because obviously kitchens are always white. That's, you know, brightens it up. Makes it feel clean. That kind of thing. So that we'll stick with the brick look, but it just looks like we've painted over the brick. Nobody sees, nobody sees that gap. I don't know why they have a kitchen that there's not any, you know things that fit in it it's a really cool looking kitchen it's just you measured wrong bro it's it's okay it, it happens do we even want to go up top here i mean yeah this this is gonna look nice i i don't i don't mind this at all it's kind of a hard uh you know border between the kitchen and the rest of the house so we're we're gonna buy we're gonna buy some more of this stuff this looks pretty nice i love that you can see the waves rolling in the background there dude that'd be so cool Love to live on, on like open water like that. Obviously, I love living on the lake. I love lake life. Never never going to change. But like to live like on the ocean where you know you could have a boat and go out deep sea fishing or, you know, 
island hopping, go to the sandbar, that sort of thing. It'd be, be pretty sick. I'm gonna do white all along the, the underside of these lentils here as well. To be honest, I feel like it, it could have been pretty cool for us to do the entire uh, warehouse in this color, the white brick. I, I really like brick painted over. I like traditional brick too, but I feel like the white brick looks looks pretty nice. Is this too white? Should we have kept one accent wall? I don't know. And we probably could have, but we've already committed. So let's put that down. Let's sell all this stuff. Kitchen is uh, at least started here. I wish there was a way to do like under cabinet lighting. That's something I really want to do with my house. This is fairly close to what my kitchen looks like right now. I just I feel like some under cabinet lighting would look pretty nice. I try to put LED strips in there. It doesn't look very good. I'm going to say let's uh, if we go to we need lighting lights. If we get these things, the halogen lamps, this this could be kind of cool here in the kitchen. Get these guys around the edge. See how that yeah, that looks pretty nice. Also, once a Lorraine clock in here, we're going to go medium white on the edges. Ooh. Okay, that that is not what I was expecting. I guess we could put it over here. I just feel like that doesn't match anything else of of what we were doing here. Overruled. We're we're going to go we're going to go with this guy on the wall. Beautiful. All right. There's our kitchen. Okay, so I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up on you guys. We're we're going I think we're gonna go dark brown. I don't know, the black just kind of stood out a little bit too much. The dark brown looks pretty black, but it's it's not black, and I feel like it matches the floors and everything else. Like when you look out here and you see all the the browns, I mean we've we've got a weird mix going on with blacks, browns, woods. I, I just I feel like the brown fits a little bit better. Like when you look at this clock that it was wanting us to get, like this, this makes sense now. I feel like we were getting a little bit too much into my, you know, how I kind of really like, uh, I kind of like this guy. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him there for now. I really like the black and white look. I, I don't, I don't want to default back to that. So we're, we're going to, we're going to do something a bit different. It's not necessarily my, my style. I, I just, I like, I like the simpler, more monochrome colors more. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of these guys too. I feel like those are kind of the vibe, but not really. And put some little halogen bulbs in here. Something a little, yeah. See, I feel like it was getting a little bit stark. And now I feel like it's a little more, a little more low key in here. Everything is, is kind of a little bit soft. And now I feel like it softens this space up a little bit too. Let's get some, some plants in here. You know, kind of set them up on the the cupboards. Not bad. We we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna accessorize it. But I, I feel like that just that fits the vibe so much more of what we've got going on here. The soft fire, the plants, the the brick, the everything. That's that's a little a little more low key. I feel like it is a lot of white though. I feel like maybe we should have left this wall, the uh, the brown brick. But we'll we'll leave it for now. I do believe that completes our downstairs. Dude, we have completely changed this place. I love it. All right. Upstairs we go. Let's see what, uh, what they've got in store for us here. So we've got a hallway. We've got a room here. We've got a room here. And then this is a part of the, the main master, I'm assuming. Looks like we, uh, this is going to be a bathroom and this might be another little office. Let's, a little guest bedroom. We're going to start with this. Let's see what we've got going on. Havana bed. Ooh. What vibes do we want to go with? What color are our walls going to be? Does it have wall colors for us? Light biscuit walls. All right. I'm going to buy one of these. We're going to do an accent wall. Here we go. Let's paint this bad boy up. I'm going to say bed is going to face the view for sure. So I'm assuming this wall is, is going to be our, our painted wall. That pains me, dude, to paint over brick like this. That just, that hurts. It shouldn't, shouldn't be a thing. So we've got that. I'm kind of thinking maybe like a a little wall over here too. Just as just as like a, a slight variation from the norm. All right, we've, we've got that. So light biscuit is on the walls. 15 out of 15 looks good. We're gonna go with this on our floor. We'll go ahead and put that there. Put that here and this here. Beautiful. Dark, 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 dark. Everything in this house is very dark and moody. It's, it's cool. It's just not my 
my vibe. If we're going to be that dark, I definitely want to brighten up the wood a little bit. Maybe an American Elm. Hmm. Kind of a coffee brown. Dude, there's so many options here. This is crazy. I like this. Okay, I, I think I'm going to get away from the, the brown. How about something like this? That fits pretty well. I don't know if we're going to want it centered with the wall because we kind of have, you know, a little bit of a, a walkway space issue. What about something like that? Or like this? I want to keep the, the gray and brown look. All right. I mean, that doesn't look bad. So we've got darker in the floor and then the bed kind of lightens things up a little bit. That's, that's not bad. These we're going to put in the same thing here. So the base is American Elm. Hmm. The cool ash is pretty cool. The gray wood is pretty cool too. But do we want to do we want to match all the way through is the problem. I almost feel like we want to go American Elm all the way through. Get these guys centered with this wall here. That looks pretty good. Are we going too light on this? I don't know. We'll see how it works out. We're going to put some some lamps and stuff in too. So we've got a beige. I'm thinking like a light or a white. See how this looks. This is kind of an interesting little setup. I'm going to put these on each side of this for now. Could turn these on for a little bit of light in here. I'm hoping we there's no bedside tables. We're definitely going to need some bedside tables. Yeah, like this little nightstand right here. We could do this in American Elm. It's going to match perfectly. Only going to be able to fit one in here. I'm going to say let's put the bed up against the wall. I typically don't really like that. I like to have a little little space to enter from both sides, but sometimes you're a little bit strapped for space. So we could put this guy here. We could even put one or two at the end of the bed for some extra storage. But then we could put one of these over here as like a little reading light. This guy can stay where he's at. Maybe center him. Kind of an interesting little thing. I mean, I, I do like the vibe. I'm going to line this up at the top of the door frame there. We've got a palm painting. We've got a taro painting. I'm going to put these two next to each other, centered with this thing. Uh, we could probably do another large one, maybe over here. We do two, or maybe kind of center this one over yonder. We've got a double floor lamp. I'm going to go, let's, let's go light. Let's make it large. Put this over in the corner. I mean, it's, it's a cool vibe. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I appreciate this space. I'm going to say maybe bring this centered with the room. Maybe over here. Yeah, that's nice. Let's line up the top of the frame with the top of the door frame. And then we could even do some sort of a, um, if we did some lighting, some down lighting on that just to highlight the painting. Something like that guy there. Turn it on. Beautiful. All right. I mean, that... This is a pretty good looking room. I like what we did with it. Look how bright and inviting this was. It was looking pretty dark and, and gnarly, but this is nice. I feel like we need something on this or like a plant in the corner or something. Let me see what we got for plants. You guys know when in doubt, plant it out. I'm tempted to do some sort of a wall plant, but we've done a bunch of those, even though it would be pretty cool in here. Let's go with a light gray, white bottom. Oh, that's really small. It's a bit more what I was thinking of, but I, it's a big, boring wall. We kind of need something pretty significant. I don't mind it. All right. We just took a really boring room of nothing but dark wood and, and you know, brick walls and turned it into something pretty cool. I like that. So that's done. Let's take a look at the bathroom over here. See what we've got going on for the bathroom. I'm going to say let's start with the, the floors and walls. So we're going to be using these tiles for the walls. Floor is going to be the cream. So I kind of, I kind of get the vibe we're going for a little bit. Let me, let me get lights up. We got lights, wall lamps. Yeah, we're, we're going to get some, some lights up here. At least just get those turned on so we can see the vibe we're going for. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say let's. Let's tile both side walls and the door wall. And then we're going to, we're going to, or maybe not even the door wall. We're going to have the brick as the accent. Obviously there's a lot of brick downstairs, so we can somewhat get rid of it upstairs. I mean, this is, you know, kind of the living quarters. So it, you tie in the downstairs a bit, but maybe make it a, a little bit less jarring, a little bit less industrial. We also definitely need to make sure we're getting doors on, on doorways. We didn't put a doorway on that 
bedroom back there. Not gonna have much privacy if that's the case. All right, get rid of that. So this, ooh. This is a very aggressive bathroom. Okay, we're gonna need to break the, the marble up a little bit. Not gonna lie to you. So we've got the wooden sink here we're gonna be working with. I'm trying to see everything else. It looks like they're gonna want a hanger, lights. They're gonna want a shower. I'm gonna, what kind of a shower is the thing? Budget's gonna run out soon. Well, that's just gonna be a part of it, sorry. Looks like they want a shower like this right side. Okay. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be like that, and then it, uh, the, the door's gonna open up to the right, I'm pretty sure. We're about to find out. All right. I mean, that's pretty cool, especially with the brick wall behind you. I really like that. That, that, that'd be a cool place to take a shower without a doubt. Should we put the sink over here? What else? Are we not putting a toilet in here? The, yeah, I was gonna say there's gotta be a toilet going in here. I guess the toilet could go along the accent wall too. Beautiful, all right. Let's see what kind of toilet they're gonna be going for. A fez. Mm. <laughs> not gonna be going with that. I guess just plain white. It's a pretty plain-ish bathroom, so that works for me. This is a fancy spot, man. I I like it. This is a cool spot. All right, so we got a Fez toilet there. Should we have gone black? I kind of feel like the black on black on black works. That's pretty cool. All right, so we, we've got that. Then we're going to go with our sink here. I'm thinking we might go a little bit black and, and white in here, maybe. This is a big spot for a sink. I guess we're just going to prioritize getting ready. Oh, this is kind of an interesting little sink here. Mount this thing on the wall. Then we got to get the piping in place. Beautiful. All right, so that's there. We're going to have a, uh, a big mirror. We're going to go large. We're going to go gray wood. Lighten things up a little bit. We got to move this first, though. All right. She's nice and centered. Let's get these guys on each side. Beautiful. Okay. Is there anything else here? I mean, we want a little... Oh, we want a double sink and double mirrors. That makes more sense. Gonna hang the uh, towels in the, in the shower. Yep, that uh, kind of a weird choice, Trev, but we're okay. Probably my least favorite room of the house thus far. I I don't like the, the choices that they made here, especially the walls and the floor matching it. it can we at least get like a... Is there like a bathroom rug or something i mean i might just throw a cow skin rug in here i mean a bathroom rug that's weird you don't put rugs in bathrooms i'm just trying to think of something to break this up i don't i don't i don't like it well i don't have to like it it's it's not on me okay so here we go this is our final room our little lofted bedroom upstairs i'm assuming this is going to be the master or maybe they, they, they i don't know want to use it as something else we'll find out we've got an interior door here what do we do downstairs we did black wood with the Shoot, I already forget. Was it the Burn Beach? Or was it Burn Beach with black? I think it was black with Burn Beach. Black wood, Burn Beach inserts. Black wood and then Burn Beach across the way. This is going to be a bathroom here. Be able to put that bad boy in. And then we're going to come over here. And this is going to be black wood with the Burn Beach inserts here for the interior door. I'll be able to put this guy here. Beautiful. Oh, this is going to be a... They're putting a gym in here. Interesting. Okay. Dark metal, white metal, light metal. This works. So we're, we're going to have a, a little ab workout thingy. We're going to have some, some commando sconces like we had downstairs. So I'm going to put one in the middle here. Maybe two on this side. One over here. One in between, one in between. One here. One here. One there. This looks pretty nice. Kind of too many over here, so I'm, I'm thinking get, get rid of these. Center this guy, we should be good. I'm trying to get the heights right. It's kind of hard to... I wish you had like a measuring tape or something where you could Get the heights precise. We're just going to have to call that good enough. Okay, so we've got that there. Let me see. What are we doing for flooring? We're going to go with the hard, dark, walnut. Same stuff that we had downstairs. 
So let me put that there. Bring this around yonder. Bring it all the way down. Beautiful. All right. Just really moving this place out. I'm down for it, though. It works. All right. So we've got a, a sofa here. I'm going to try to go. Let's go with the same colors that we did downstairs. Dark gray, black. Going to go with the leaves. No other pillows. So we've got this guy here. I really don't think this is the first vibe I would go for, but it's, it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. I really do. The sitting setup doesn't really work. We'll, we'll see what their vision is here. We've got a coffee table. Put this guy out. We've got some plants. We've got chests of drawers. We've got a chandelier. Dude, this is cool. All right, let me get this guy centered. I mean, it's a very cozy spot. You can't you can't go wrong with that. We've got an exercise bike over here. We're gonna go a little bit lighter gray. So I guess these, I was gonna say, let's put them outside, but I think that might be the idea. You could drag these bad boys outside if you wanted to. So I'm gonna kind of put this angled like here, move the exercise bike like this. I put a plant there. I don't really know where they want us to put this chest of drawers and stuff. I'm gonna go with the American Elm, kind of brighten things up a bit. I guess this could go here. It's it's kind of a tight spot for a very big chair, not gonna lie to you. Is there a way we can like angle this to get it a little bit further back in there? Kind of awkward. I wouldn't put the chair there, but it's okay. They want a bunch of these guys. I'm gonna say on American Elm. Hmm. You sure you want this many? I just feel like this is a, a lot, sir. But we can we can make it happen. Put them all on American Elm. Let's just kind of try to switch it up a little bit. We're gonna have to move these around. They want two more in here. I would say maybe back back over yonder. She put it on American Elm, just like that. Is that centered? Not really. I'm gonna say let's put this one up here and then bring this one. I mean, you could stack them. That's pretty cool. I like that. I mean, we got to see what do we have going on out here. I'm going to say let's let's get a, a grill. We don't really have a lot of a lot of money left to work with. I'm going to I'm going to put a grill up to Oh, it doesn't even let us put a grill up here. I think we're done. I don't think that I Okay, this this just looks this looks like trash. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not going to make your place look crappy at the very end. Really all you needed is one one plant in the corner. Could have been a little bit bigger, but that's that's fine. I don't I don't think you need all the the chaos that you have going on. You could put a couple of tiny little plants over here. Like let's let's get this guy. Kind of a different vibe from a lot of the plants we've been using, but I, I guess that's not a bad thing. Is there anything else that we we like or like some, a, a little mint plant here? You could put these on each side of this. Bam, look at that. Let's even rotate this dude so he's the complete opposite. Look, there you have it. That's a lot more chill than the big stuff all over the walls. I do like it over here, but otherwise I think it was a bit much. So yeah, I think, man, I wish, I wish we had more budget and could like make a really cool outdoor space, but I think, I think that's a wrap. I think this is our spot. Dude, I mean, this took a really long time, but I really love how this turned out. Nice soft kitchen. I mean, white, little little stark for everything else. I don't know if I, I, I think I would have kept the brick walls in here. But look at this, man. This is gorgeous. I, I would totally sit down on this couch and just vibe. You've got your office over here. You've got your bedroom upstairs. You've got a bathroom, guest bathroom and closet over here. You've got a hangout, workout area, indoor, outdoor living. You could open up all of these. Imagine on a nice summer day, just opening up all of these, getting that nice breeze coming through, tossing the football around in the yard. This, this is a cool spot. I say we lock it in. Here we go. We have completed 95% of the job. You may complete the job for 27,000. If the job's not fully completed yet, we're, we're good. They wanted us to add a couple of other little things that I just wasn't gonna do. Look how good that looks, dude. Oh my goodness, these are some of the best before and afters we've had. Look at that crappy office that was upstairs into this beautiful bedroom. Oh, it didn't have our it didn't have our paintings on the wall in there. It didn't show those. Just completely 
completely gut rent out this place and turned it into a wonderful wonderful living space so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna see you guys in our next episode it's time to go back to our uh, S the ss broke down broke b and uh we're gonna go accept our next job i think we're gonna take on a more traditional house we've done a lot of different stuff here we've had you know warehouses and and all kinds of other stuff let me see what we've got going on let me see our map of jobs see what we could potentially check out next yeah we've got this more traditional house we've also got the townhouse I think I'm going to go for the traditional house. So I'll see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to, you know, leave me a five-star rating on Google. T. Martin's uh, interior design. Thanks for watching. Peace out.